Most people who experience Super Bowl aren't in the stadium, but a DC Bureau reporter Nicole Ardila reports all those Super Bowl parties led to a lot of food waste. The Big Board Bar here is one of the many places where NFL fans gather to watch the Super Bowl and snack on chicken wings, burgers, and beer. But much of the food that's been bought and prepared for these Super Bowl parties goes to waste, impacting food insecurity in the country. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, about 34 million people in the United States are food insecure. Nine million of them are children. The Food Recovery Network is a nonprofit organization with chapters across the U.S. that recovers consumable food waste at Super Bowl tailgate parties to combat food insecurity. Last year at the tailgate party where we recovered food, um, we recovered about 2,000 pounds of food. The year before that, when it was in Miami, um, we recovered about 5,000 pounds of food. So this year, we're expecting probably around two to 3,000 pounds of food that we will be able to recover from that event and bring it to Phoenix Rescue Mission. The National Chicken Council expected nearly one and a half billion chicken wings to be consumed on Super Bowl weekend, the highest record projected. Professor Mahadev Bhatt at Florida International University calculated that more than 7,000 tons of those wings are wasted. This food waste will end up in, uh, in, uh, in landfills. And we have a very small percentage, 10-15% of that, that waste may be either composted or, uh, or recycled. Food waste is the biggest contributor to landfills, according to Recycle Track Systems, a waste-conscious collection service. Americans discard about 80 billion pounds of food every year, which is more than any country in the world. The food waste that you can't control is what you have when people don't finish what they've got brought to them. Most of that ends up in the trash. Uh, we try to have our portion sizes correctly so that we don't have a lot, and our menu is a la carte, but you can't, you can't stop it. Food Recovery Network suggests to stay mindful of not to overproduce and consume food and to reuse whatever is left over. Reporting from Washington, D.C., I'm Nicole Ardila for the South Florida Media Network.